The first set of commands we see within this actual processing block is something called 3DTCAD. Now we covered that a couple videos back when we talked about removing the first two TRs before we reached a steady state. In this case, this is a typical format of an AFT command. It's the actual name of the command, 3DTCAD, followed by this dash prefix, which tells you what to label the output of the file after the command is done, which is right here. So within this output directory, we have processing block 00. Remember, in general, AFNI convention is to start from zero as the first element of anything. Dot, the name of the subject, this is a variable, dot R01, so run 01.tcat to show you which processing step was just completed. And here, this is the actual input. So what are we applying 3D tcat to? It's this raw ft epi run one. And here in quotes and in brackets, we have two dot dot dollar sign. Dollar sign is just a variable, which means the very end of that array. Okay, so remember we started zero. So we're excluding zero and one. We're only keeping runs, or sorry, volumes two to the very end, right? So this output data set is going to have only the volumes two through the end of this raw input data. And we do that for all three runs. Okay. Set TR counts just to make it an array, 150, 150, 150. That is now how many TRs or volumes each of these processed data sets now have. And then we actually go into the output directory so we can do more stuff.